I, I always tell people, do what you love to do. Don't worry about the numbers too much because if you worry about the numbers and it's like you're doing things not really for yourself, right. and that's when YouTube kind of becomes more of a job than something you like. Right. Okay, yeah, I've kind of skimmed through your videos a little bit, and there's not really one category. Yeah, so how I would you? Yeah, I like to branch out. I would describe it as more of like a lifestyle. lifestyle. It's not like specific. It's my life and like what I like. To right, do. right. I try to put out videos at least once a week. Sometimes I try to do two, but with working with top five and my job right. in school, it's hard to put out more than one a week. Right. So it takes me maybe two hours to film, another two to edit, and uploading is hard because sometimes internet is slow, and with yeah. YouTube, everybody uploading, it can really slow down, take right. two a day to upload a video, so. Yeah. All right, so here's the question that I always want to ask because there's like <laughs> so many people out there on YouTube or just the internet in general, they're trying to put out content. And I think the hardest thing to do is to get people to buy into what you're producing. AKA like, how the heck do you build such a big like following? I think I was looking at one of your videos, it had over 400,000 views and you had like 18,000 subscribers. I know like numbers are just numbers yeah. sometimes, but that's a big number. Yeah, so. It blows my mind too. It's because when I started my channel, I had a couple people from my old channel that came over. It was like 300 people, but right. really I found it's when you make things for yourself, but as well as what's trending. So okay. the video that blew up for me was my back to school haul. It was around when college was starting, when high schools were starting, so right. people watched that because that's what's going on. Like for Christmas, if you make like a Christmas video, people are going to click on that because that's what's relatable at the time. Right. So right. I found that that really blew up and helped gain my following and gain more views and stuff like that. So when people saw me doing other videos like that, they're like, oh, I want to watch this one as well. well the aim, well, obviously with your aim, with, you want to gain subscribers, but definitely with this video, I was just making it for myself. Like, oh, I want to show people what I like. I'm into stationery and stuff like that. So definitely putting that out is like, whoa, so many people were interested in that. Like me, like it was really crazy to see happen. Like I was gaining and gaining it. It blew my mind. I think her videos are successful because she's so enthusiastic and fun. Like, she almost seems like a, a friend that you would go and hang out with. I like my subscribers to watch me and be like, oh my god, I can relate to her so much, or I feel like she's my friend. I don't want people to watch me and be like, I wish I was her, I wish that I could meet her. But obviously, I would love to meet my subscribers, but it's more of like, I want them to feel like they're my friend, not right. someone who they want to be. Right. I know that Sarah and She's been doing videos for a long time, and I know that they're a ton of work, and a lot of times she'll put that in front of hanging out with friends, but her work, her work ethic is like astounding. She just dedicates so much time to her schoolwork, and then obviously this, and I know she has a job too, and she has a family, so she's like so hardworking, like one of the most hardworking people I know, to put all this time into it, so right. many videos. So. I would say if anybody wants to start a YouTube channel or anything like that, go for it. It doesn't matter if you have like the nicest camera or you're on your phone or you're on your computer. 